course, one of the standout performances in Bugs in Malone came from the acclaimed child actress Jodie Foster, playing the nightclub singer and gangster's moll, Tallulah. She was already a sensation and had won huge praise for her role as a young prostitute opposite Robert De Niro in Martin Scorsese's film, Taxi Driver. In 1978, the broadcaster Desmond Wilcox made a documentary about the 15-year-old Foster, gaining a level of access to her private and home life that today seems quite extraordinary. You've never taken any acting lessons, have you? No. Why not? Well, I don't think it's necessary. If you have a, a some instinct, and if you're doing okay, I think maybe I might when I'm like 18, 20 years old, and uh, I might take it at Strasbourg or, or something like that, Jeff Corey maybe, because uh, there are a lot of other actors out there too that are just as good. And right now, I don't think I think it hurts you a lot because it makes things that aren't natural for children, especially for children, who all work on their instinct and uh, just working on things that they think are okay. But your sense of timing, for instance, is that instinct or is it something you've learned or taught yourself? I don't know. Do you ever feel like a big shot? Oh, yeah, sometimes. When people ask me for my autograph, I Yes, <laughs> it's really nice. Or when I go to a screening and people say, there's Tane O'Neill. Oh. <laughs> and then I feel like a big shot. Nobody really knows me. I don't think. Yes, they do. They stop you in Disneyland. And they don't always say, is that Tatum O'Neill? No, not always. You're somebody, aren't you? Don't, don't I know you? I mean, I know you don't. You're somebody, you know. But it's, it's nice, you know, people thinking that you are somebody. It's nice. <laughs> In her journey through the Hollywood jungle around her, Jodie is careful not to forget that it was in the bright world of imagination and fantasy created by Walt Disney that she was first discovered and acclaimed. She's wise for her years and still makes Disney pictures. She hasn't rejected the child star roles, which she knows one day she must grow out of but would be foolish to despise. Anyway, she's also young for her years, and whenever she can, she goes back to Disneyland to take advantage of all the free rides the publicity people will give her and to enjoy recognition and admiration. And you've got Taxi Driver on the wall here. Taxi Driver, and that's my name. <laughs> Is that the first time that you had your name uh, up on a big movie billing uh, like that? Um, let me think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. The, I think except for Echoes of a Summer, but that didn't have the big release that yeah. Taxi Driver had. Now, those are the British Academy Awards. There, these, you got two of those there. Yeah, you? these are the British Academy Awards. This, this, well, let me see which one it is. This one is for Best Supporting Actress for Bugs Malone and Taxi Driver. And this is for Most Popular, no, Most Promising Newcomer. The British Academy Awards. Thank you very much everyone that was involved in Taxi Driver and Bugs and Malone and directors and great actors and everyone that cooperated together and mostly the press that, that has been so nice to me over this year and everything else this year I'm so nervous I can't even believe it uh, and most of all my family who um, stood behind me when, when I needed it and most of all my mother thank you Do you think uh, about your own looks at all? There you are with lenses and cameras pointed at you all the time. You must think about how you look. Well, every kid to my age has to think about their look. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? My nose is out of shape. I got a big nose in my mouth. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I'm not sitting there in the mirror all the time going like that. Because I figure once I look in the mirror, I'm gonna look the same as the last time. Do you think you're pretty? No. Why not? 
I don't know. <laughs> I, I got a big nose. <laughs> no, yeah. I begin to like my nose. I used to hate my nose. But then I sprained it on the bottom of the swimming pool. And now I like it because it goes like that. <laughs> do, you, do you wear makeup at all? Or do you want to wear makeup at all? No way, because as soon as you get it on, you have to wash it off again. And I've always had to wear makeup on film. On film. And um, it's such a pain. You have to get out all this stuff and stick it on. It's gross. Are there occasions when you like to look pretty? Wear a dress? Uh, do Ooh, your hair? I'd always like to look pretty if I could, believe me. I, I don't wear dresses usually because they're so uncomfortable and I always end up splitting them or breaking them. I'm really a klutz and I always end up tripping over. Did you notice in the British Academy Awards I tripped on the steps? Yes. I always end up tripping, so I try not to wear a dress because then I look even stupider. But I like wearing pants. Well, I think you're pretty. Thank you. I think you do too, really, actually. Well, I mean, you're not supposed to get up here and say it. I mean, I think I got things that are okay. I like my nose, I like my nose. And I have pointed ears, I like my ears, see? Ears? Mm -hmm. And Leonard Nimoy ears. <laughs> Dr. Spock, is it? No. Yeah, Dr. Spock. You know, Star Trek. That's right. Right. <laughs> Mr. Spark. Dr. Spark is the He's baby the other guy, the baby guy. guy. That's right. Jodie Foster would go on to become one of Hollywood's greatest stars, winning Best Actress Oscars for The Accused and The Silence of the Lambs.